Hey everybody, it's Margaret and I'm coming to you today with a sales update. I went ahead and decided to do this live because it's the holiday season and I know if I record this, it's going to take me forever to get it edit, edited and uploaded. So I thought I'm just going to do it live. It's not my favorite format for sales updates. Uh, but um, that's what I'm going to do today. But before I get started, I wanted to say thank you to a couple people. I got some more Christmassy friend mail. This is from the Tenney family, Tracy and Michael, the kitty card. So super cute. Thank you very much for the wonderful card. Uh, and Tracy is HB Picker. If you guys are not familiar, you've probably seen her in the chats and stuff. So thank you so much, Tracy. And then I got another card, and this is from Creative heart designs and I've gotten some lovely thank you cards from her this is from Deborah Dukes she makes these beautiful cards you guys look and it I mean it came all I mean it was in little cellophane and it was just I mean the presentation was amazing and so she made this beautiful 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 card hey hey Chad hey Nevada um, so anyway lovely card that she made and sent on to me so I just wanted to give her a shout out check her out creative heart designs and she is on, let's see, is that eBay or Etsy? Let me double check because I think she says. Uh, eBay seller and YouTube watcher. So <laughs> thank you. And then one last thing before I get started with the sales update. Hey, Gloria. Um, if you're not in International League of Thrifters, we have Pinterest parties every day, if you're not aware. Um, so this week I hosted one that was $10 and under. So we promote each other's things well. Carol had this, uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. A desk set. This is like a letter opener. And as soon as she shared that as her her item to be, to be pinned, I said, "Don't worry about pinning this, people. I'm buying it." And so I bought it and I got it and I love it. Thank you. So I think it was like seven ninety nine. So it was a score for me. <laughs> All right. So let me jump into my sales. They've been pretty good. I mean, for me, because I haven't been I've been listing a little bit more than I I was before. So let me share with you. And I have got. Hey, Carol. How's it going? Hi, Jessica. Um, I've got some really good sales and I've got a lesson that I learned this week. So be on, be on the listen for that. <laughs> the lesson. Okay, let me screen share the, uh, the sold. So I'll start with Etsy. And here we have this. This is something that came out of a jewelry jar. This is this Harlequin. Basically, it's a plastic bead necklace. And yeah, I was kind of dubious about whether it was going to sell or not. But I thought, you know what, let's do it. So I, I basically, it was about a quarter because it came out of this big jewelry jar and it sold for $21.99. So very nice. And this went to the UK, so it, and off of Etsy. So there are UK buyers, uh, international and all that. So after shipping and everything, my net profit was $19.64. Yes, on a plastic bead necklace. <laughs> so next up, also on Etsy, was this large Baltic amber ring. I was so sorry to see it go, it was beautiful. And I honestly, you know what, I think that there are people that just don't know what amber is uh, because I got this ring for super cheap, like three bucks or something. Of course the cats have found the catnip now and are in the room. <laughs> so this, where did it go in my, okay, so I bought this for $3. It sold for $78.99. Um, and so my net profit there was $70 and 41 cents so yeah be on the lookout because i think a lot of people don't know what amber is when you know when they sell it cheap sometimes i've I found it cheap many times okay and then this hat sold it was kind of ratty the man the myth the fishing legend sold on etsy and i keep clicking away like you can see it um so I bought I bought this for a dollar. It sold for twenty four ninety nine. So after shipping and fees, my net was twenty two dollars and seventy four cents. So really, I'm making you know a nice return on investment um, on my items. A pair of eyeglasses sold. These were just to, I mean they weren't any brand name. A lot of times I'll try to find ones that are nice brand names, but I picked them up because the price was right. I mean they were a buck ninety nine. They sold for twenty nine ninety nine. So thirty bucks. So my net profit there was $26.40. And then, am I going too fast? This is why I'm doing this live, because I knew, <laughs> I knew that I was not gonna be able to get this edited. I feel like I shared this already. Let me check in my spreadsheet. But maybe, oh, I did, I know what it was. I did the, um, 
how I do my crunch my numbers. And so this was in that video. Okay. So this set, enamel cow brooch and earring set, I've had this for a long time, y'all. Uh, but I picked this up for two bucks. It finally sold for $24.99. Uh, so my net was $22.20. So yeah, but I've had it at least a year, maybe a little more than a year. And then this brown bottle sold. Um, this I picked up at a garage sale for a buck. Let me check it out. A dollar. It sold for $14.99. So my net profit there was $10.58. So not bad. Let me exit out for a second. There we go. All right. So my my net for my sales on Etsy was one hundred seventy one dollars and ninety seven cents this week. Uh, I don't think that's too bad. That ring definitely shot me up over the edge. Pancake on the net. I can't have toy. <laughs> we may be in for a, a long night. All right. So next up, let me flip over and I'll share with you my eBay sales. Here we go. eBay sales. Oh boy, <laughs> that cat. All right, so these tra uh, engines and trains, it's a deck of cards, these sold. And let me find it in my spreadsheet. I bought these for a quarter. These sold for $28.99 for a deck of cards. But you know, there are people that love those, their train sets and you know, they're really into trains. So anyway, um, so anyway, after shipping and everything, my profit there was $25.74 for a deck of cards, y'all. For reals. Alrighty. And then this mug sold. I think it just sold yesterday too. So this mug sold. I picked it up for 99 cents. It sold for $17.49. And my net there was $16.50. As I was boxing this up yesterday, I was saying to my husband, I keep every time I buy more mugs, I say, why am I buying more mugs? And then when the mug sells, I'm like, oh, that's why I keep buying mugs. I forget that you they, you can get a really good return on investment on them. So if you pick the right ones up and then shoes, I almost never pick up shoes, but these were really awesome. Dan Sco breast cancer awareness. They were in really good shape. They had a few scuffs and things, but not too bad. Uh, I paid six bucks for those and sold them for $44.99 and they sold like I just listed them last week. So they sold really quickly. So my net was $34 and 49 cents. I can win. So that was good. Again, I don't sell a whole lot of shoes. But when I saw those, I thought, okay, okay, here's the lesson. Here's the lesson. So I sold this Vince Gill CD. I kept, you know, for a while I was trying to pick up, you know, music because I see Jason, he does really well. And I don't know anything about it, apparently. But you know what? It's selling. So <laughs> he makes a really good profit on it. But he knows his he knows his stuff. So anyway, the problem is I didn't realize it till right now, whenever I was making this, getting ready for the video that you know how you do this you have one to sell sell now like you're, co you're copying basically the descriptors well i did that you know and i do that but then you know i put my own pictures and i always change the title except for this time so this cd is not at all new factory sealed so i was telling my husband oh my gosh i can't believe i did this and i and i always will go back and fix it so it's not all caps you know and for whatever reason i must have been in a hurry or else i did it and then deleted it out or something. I don't know what. So I'm going to message the buyer. I'm going to be proactive and message the buyer and say, look, I just realized there's an error in the title and just want to let you know, you know, I, it was, look, it was $6 and 39 cents. If they're cool, I'm cool. But I just wanted to have that out there that I caught that. But I mean, they could come back and say, I'm not as described very easily on me because of that. And it's totally my fault. Um, but yeah, easily I will refund their money because I think I made three something profit. Where is it? Okay. So yeah, I picked this up. Where did they go? Did I not even? Oh, here it is. I picked it up for a buck. Sold for six thirty nine because I don't know music. <laughs> and uh, my net was $3.84. So uh, yeah, uh, but I'm going to be messaging the buyer after I get done here. And then Julie Marie sold. I just listed her too. And she I picked up at a garage sale for, where'd you go? Three bucks. She, I took a best offer of $24 on her. And so my net profit there was $18 and 17 cents. Pretty good. Is that it? Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. And then another pair of eyeglasses sold. These are Boulevard brand, vintage Boulevard boutique eyeglasses, whatever. And I think I took a best offer. Where did it go? I'm looking in my spreadsheet. 
There we go. Uh, so yeah, buck ninety nine is what I picked them up for. I took an offer of twenty four ninety nine on those. This is one of those where somebody sent me a really low ball offer, like crazy, like nine dollars, and I countered with twenty four ninety nine, and they accepted it. So that's why I don't mind putting up their, you know, best offer. Uh, send me your best offer, whatever. And what was my profit on that? So it ended up being twenty dollars and seventy one cents profit after all the fees and everything. So, oh brother, like I don't only let the cats in here, but they're in here now, and it's on. In my crazy workroom, there's plenty to get in trouble with. So, okay, my net profit. Let me share with you my spreadsheet so you can see it because I like to show it to you. Come on, there we go. Application window. Here it comes. All right, so here up here are my eBay sales. My net profit on eBay was one hundred twenty-four dollars and forty-five cents, and this was these were my Etsy's, and this was one seventy-one. So Etsy one. But my total for the week was $296.42 for both platforms. Okay, she's just going to climb up here. Fine, you get to be in the video. This is Mimi. She's like, ah, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, let go. Let go. Okay, good. <laughs> she's gone now. So, all right, that was it. So Etsy won this week, and usually that happens, especially in the fourth quarter. Etsy ends up doing better than eBay for me for some reason. Um, and I'm doing better about listing again, finally. And I'm, I've am i ordered a little, um, you know, my pop-up photo, photograph tent that I have. I have a ginormous one for big stuff, for like big dolls and things like his size. Um, but I've ordered a smaller one just because I want to have it to grab and go, you know, real quick. Uh, and I know there's cheaper ways to do it, but I'm lazy and I, I just wanted to get the little pop-up tent because I do. So yeah, that's coming and that's going to make it a lot easier because I was trying to take pictures of jewelry the other day and I had my natural light, but I still couldn't get what I, what I can normally do in my big tent, but I just didn't feel like dragging that big old tent out. So I've ordered a little tent. Yay. I can't wait for it to get here next week. <laughs> All right. So pretty good. I think my sales were really good and that's pretty much it. If I don't see you before Christmas, please have a Merry Christmas and a very safe new year. But I'll probably be on before then. <laughs> we, we all know me. I'll be back. So um, hit the like button if you don't mind. I've got 18 viewers, and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks, guys, a lot, and I hope you're having a really prosperous new year. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.